Yo, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Machine Room Podcast, where Nas and Rachel start with a topic and end up in the deep web of conversation. Now sit back, relax, crank it up, and give it up for your host, Nastronomics and Hammer of Venus. Yeah, we up in this bitch. All up up in this bitch. There ain't no other bitches. It's just <laughs> us. It's just up in this piece. In which I'm starting to notice that there's a freaking lag here. Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Okay, there you go. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. All right. Welcome to the Machine Room Podcast. It is episode 142, I believe. True. Yeah, 142. We've been doing this almost five years, and I think both of us have been doing podcasts for like 10 years. So, like, if somebody asks, you know, advice from us, it's, I think, coming from a real place because we know what we're talking about. I mean, I feel like I really don't know. I'm just doing, I'm just doing whatever. I'm just a dude talking to a mic in my living room for the fuck of it. <laughs> if we knew what we were doing, we would have had sponsorships and money. That's if we knew what we were doing. We didn't for a while. We mm-hmm. kind of stumbled in the dark. But... Oh, we did it for a long ass time. <laughs> don't even say a while. Five years? Oh, fucking five years? We didn't start having fun until like last year or the year before. Yeah. What was it? We just five like, years. this and that. You remember that scene in the Lawnmower Man when he's like in the computer and he's trying to get through the back doors to get to the internet? Yes. That's what it was like. We were just like, let's try this. Let's try that. Let's try <laughs> with, it. With the very day, bad we... animations? Yes. <laughs> His face is like, <laughs> extremely bad anime <laughs> extremely Pierce Brosnan Pri- Pierce Brosnan he looked he well you know Pierce Bond he Bond. he looked you know how he looked in that movie when he was in the VR it just just play Goldeneye back in the day that's how he looked that was <laughs> that was him <laughs> all shade aside I fucking love that movie it's a great movie I love when he sets the preacher on fire and it just looks like an animated gif all over his body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen it in forever. I haven't. I haven't seen it in forever. But I oh, do remember that movie. Bad. He was a lot. He, like, he was a lawnmower man. The, 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 there's no like <laughs> fancy way. There's no fancy reason for the title. It's just that's who this motherfucker was. And basically, to sum up the movie, he was like retarded. Fantastic, and... ladies and gentlemen. All right, good night, everybody. <laughs> we are done with the show. We have been officially canceled. And that is it for us today. Jeez. <laughs> he was like on the spectrum somewhere. There and you then go. He, he starts doing these. 3D like uh, VR experiments with this like not a truth serum but like a made his IQ go up. He 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 saw Tron and it was like I want to do that. <laughs> Basically, what he did. I mean the the whole movie is like a sci-fi version of Flowers for Alderaan. Yes, and we all know Flowers of Alderaan. Alderaan? <laughs> yep, because that's what I heard. 
I don't know what the hell Flowers of Algeron is, but I'll sure as hell watch Flowers of Alderon. They didn't it's... make you read that in school? Hell, never heard of this in my damn life. We had to watch the movie. And there's a movie. Uh, we had to read the book, do a book report, like, oh my god. And as what? soon as you see the guy, you're he's, you're going to say Uncle Ben. Flowers for Algernon. Yeah. A short story by American author Daniel Keyes. Later expanded by him into a novel and subsequ subsequently adapted for film and other media. 1968 film? Yeah, it's old. Yeah, no wonder I never seen it or heard of it. But you've seen all these black and white shits that you can't pronounce. Broly Fist remember the book. Yes, I had because I went to <laughs> I went to film school and they're like, you gotta know Citizen Kane and Battleship Potekin and and the and the and the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. And I was like, alright, I guess. They should have went and been like, hey, you gotta watch Flowers for Algernon. <laughs> I'm sure you all read it in high school and I'm like, I never heard of this in my life. But then that's I when I started God. kicking in and created flowers for Alderaan and it's the final <laughs> moments of Alderaan before it gets exploded yep that's what it's all and that's what it's all about that's what I need shout out to the people in the chat room oh hi Danny oh hi Broly oh, oh hi, hi Phantom Danny. thank you all you guys there I think if it was adapted for Star Wars and it took place before Darth Vader blew up the planet it would be interesting. That's what I just said, Phantom. Yep. You see, we're on the same. Me and you, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna work on that. Broly Fist, like we also had to read a boring ass book called Tess of the Durbevilles. I don't know that one. What the hell they have you guys reading in school? <laughs> Scooby. Oh hi, Scooby. Scooby's only here to try to catch me fuck up. Yeah. And then and, rub and it in my face. Overly correct you. Mm hmm. See, Lord of the Flies. You see, Scooby, Lord of the Flies. I know of that. Did I read it? No. But I know of it because that was one of the books that they had you reading in school. Not my classes, but they did. I even, my mom even bought me Lord of the Flies, like my own copy, and I still didn't read it. Damn. <laughs> it's sitting in a box somewhere. You're like, I don't even like flies, Mom. <laughs> I'm all about flowers for Algernon. Yes. That's what it's but, all but about. But the whole, the whole flowers for Alderaan is kind <laughs> of like artsy and like sad and at the same time. Aren't they all? Yeah. I think that's just that's just what you need. Uh, make a novel, make it artsy and sad, or like the new novels are, where you make it a big fantasy epic, but you mix in smut. Yes, swear to God, that's what's going on right now with books, yo. And with uh, books, I, yes, with books. Look, one of the biggest wow. books right now is The Fourth Wing and The Iron Flame. These are the two books in the series so far, right? Yeah. Great fucking story about some chick named Violet. And she's like the daughter of the high chief woman, whatever. And it's a, it's a society where they all train people. You're either a scholar or you're a fucking dragon flyer. And those who are dragon flyers, you know, fight in the army against these other people who are... Um, not dragon flyers. They fight people who ride something else. Griffins. They fight people who ride griffins. But this is like Harry Potter meets uh, Hunger Game meets um, Game of Thrones kind of shit, I guess. Meets Fifty Shades of Grey. Do you know why I say Fifty Shades? Because in this mix, there's this one dude who's like one of the... Um, uh, uh, these people who are uh, shamed because their parents try to go against the, the the government. So they're freaking marked and considered traitors, but were forced to be part of the army because, you know, the higher chance of you fucking dying. Right. So they have to deal with the sins of their parents 
and the the main guy who 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 is the cause that they all weren't killed instead just added into the force is <laughs> has a love connection to the main girl right they're like I oh my god he wants to kill me because my mom put him there but it's also like ooh I want him and then you want me to say this like uh, Jesse Ventura daddy is that what you're saying win yes. against the government so then she falls in love with him and every <laughs> chance they get they have hard sexual intercourse imagine yeah. reading a book and it's like oh my god we almost got killed by the the vermin or whatever <laughs> and then i i think about his heart throbbing cock and, and i'm like what the fuck is this like <laughs> I, I my girl was my girl read it. I listened to the audiobook. Imagine me at work and I'm all like, damn, this shit dope. Oh shit, these motherfuckers are dying. Cause when they're going through the training, you gotta go through all these courses. If you die, you die. But if you live, you continue on and you become a cadet and you know, writer and all that oh, shit. Like uh what's that other stuff I like that where they fight the bugs? Uh Starship Troopers? Starship Troopers. Hell divers. Hell divers, I'm telling you, this fucking yeah. game is fantastic. So um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, so I'm dealing with that shit. It's dope as fuck, right? I'm like, oh shit, it's cool. They have some powers, and then they say no. They just start having like this fucking graphic ass sex, and I'm like, you almost died, you know? And then it, it reminded me of it reminded me of back in the day when you know, you know, your boy just got the internet. He goes on AOL, you know. He hits the chat rooms. You know, he's over there, Mac in a sex location. You feel me? He, he enters one of the chat rooms where it's like role playing. He's like, yo, what's up? ASL, you know? Nasty you know, sh this chick is all like, you know, we're role playing and stuff. She's a dragon slayer or something. Me too, whatever. We're in the middle of battle. We're setting up camp and then we're fucking. It's, it's like that, you know? <laughs> okay, so... I wrote a book. Now I need to go back and add porn to it. Is this the alien book? Have yeah. alien sex. It's the thing. I'm telling you, these things are going to fly off the fucking shelves. Target, even that 30% off is not going to affect you, girl. They're going to fly off the shelves how many they're going to go out there. The aliens are playing like Teddy Pendergrass and Lenny Williams and shit. <laughs> I'll tell you, you got to have it. You got to have like one alien who's just like. Like, I don't know, we shouldn't be uh, affecting these people like this and fall in love with someone else and then just having crazy inter, uh, in S, 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 what? Eter, S, damn, I can't say the word. What's, you know, the alien word, extraterrestrial? Extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial sex. There and you then, go. That was hard then, And when it gets adapted to a movie, like five aliens are gonna come in the room, not say shit, and they're gonna be standing all in a line, and then they just bust out with, "I'll make love to you." <laughs> and you want hold on a minute, hold on. <laughs> He's gonna go poop. He's gonna be gone for thirty minutes. Watch. <laughs> Taking them big poops. Why do dudes take big poops? I was just telling everybody about how the fourth wing and iron flame is just smut. It's lovely smut. Though. It's lovely smut. Lovely smut. I like it. <laughs> That's a new um, book category at Barnes and Noble. <laughs> lovely smut. Why do you lovely smut? Oh no! I told him I love the book. I just the, great book. the random. I'm waiting for a third one. These books are like Bible sizes, all right? But I'm telling it like she wrote a book about aliens, so I'm like, you gotta turn you gotta put some smut in there oh. so they can fly off the shelves. Can you talk about the one I told you about? The alien adoption rape. What? I told you. You told me about alien I don't know. Don't make an alien adoption rape story. <laughs> That's a thing and it went viral on TikTok and people were reading it. And what is it called? It. What is it called? She don't remember. Look up I alien. I read, uh, I read like two sentences, two pages, and I was like, nope. You were like, nope? Yep. It's so bad she said nope. 
and I know the story she be reading about. Don't even start me with the Harry Potter fan fiction you're reading right now. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's money in this shit, man. I, I can believe Broly fits now with the whole Chuck Tingle. You know, why yes. not? Why not have like a fucking... People read all types of shit. A sexual like, shit are, with a furniture. Are, you know, we are natural creatures all up to read. You guys, you guys want like to watch the it. kinkiest shit. You guys like to watch the porn. We like to live in it. <laughs> That's <nice>. true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Listen, some of these books are real good. You heard it. Get your smut on, people. Here's a here's a guilty confession. Um, I didn't watch porn growing up. I read story like erotic stories. She didn't watch porn growing up. Read stories. Yeah, so did I. That's Dude, crazy. I, I didn't watch. I need all visuals, the, yo. All the I why you think? Too. Why you think I prefer I'm anime bad. over manga? I love the visual. They're, I like they're all sweating. Make it their hairs in their face, and the, like you know the, they I just lay there afterwards. I'm like, I, I need like to go to shower. Media. I don't want to hear someone telling me too much. That's yes. That's, Almost like visualizing it. Okay, so you don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. Get me from my sweetness. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. Is that what he's saying? No, I don't want to hear that. I want to read it. You want to read. read you want to read. And he hissed yes. when he came. Can you describe to me what hissing coming is? This is what I envision. He went like that. And he went. <laughs> That's what I envision when I read. He hissed coming. Who, okay, hashtag uh, his coming. <laughs> Who's done this? What you should hear is. Get me for my sweetness. <laughs> That's what you should hear. Ooh, it's about to come. It's about to come. It's about to come. Uh, oh. Why do you have those? <laughs> Why do you have. Yeah, oh, it's, it's all about the Slytherin dick right the now. The Slytherin dick. Exactly, Broly Fist. You know why? Because it's Draco, Draco Malfoy. Fucking Hermione out of uh, against her will. It's, it's a little rapey. It's a lot of rapey. It's not even a little it's rapey. A little rapey it's a lot of rapey, but, but she story. considered it a New Hold York on. Times bestseller. Hold on, though, because, <laughs> because it goes back in time, you know, just to pop, just to, what is it called? Just to listen? It just to poses. Uh huh. A time before she lost her memory, and they actually had a thing. And in that backstory, there he had sex. Okay. She lost her virginity to him. Okay. Like, she wanted to So she, she has him. amnesia and is being raped, is yes. what you're telling me. Now currently being raped, but before loved it. Okay. That's where we're going. Is there Vince McMahon fan fiction? Because I, that's what we're... That's what we're going at. You know what that fan fiction is? The whole freaking doc... The whole shit explaining everything. What do you call that? Doctrine? Not doctrine. Yeah. A doctrine? About, yeah. Like the, like, yeah, like the, the things that breaking down. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. The lawsuit yeah, yeah. doctrine or whatever the shit. That's that that's smut right there. You, you read that. Because <laughs> it's realistic. That's why it's fucked up. Do you remember uh, back in the day what uh, BET... Uh, uncut? It, like, un yeah, like Uncut or After Dark or whatever uh -huh. it's called. That's going to be books in like five years. It's just... Books uncut. Pop, pop that pussy. Pop, pop that pussy. Why would she? You, I, clearly, you know they're gonna cut the fourth wing when it becomes a series. I hope not. Or a it movie. Be a freaking Game of Thrones. I better. No, be at that at that rate, it should be. Uh, if anything, the fourth wing should be made into the first official, uh, uh, movie that is a porn. That's Damn. No, because Game of Thrones, like, I mean, you there got, you, you, there yeah, there was. Game of Thrones. I mean, we don't and talk you, about that. You didn't say shit then, so why am I being <laughs> shit on for my Rick and Look, boy, Hermione? Look, what was her name? What's her name from uh, Game of Thrones? The one that was being. Not Sansa. It's Sansa. Yeah. No, no. You're I'm thinking for my sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about the the dragon. Chick because Aquaman 
Aquaman raped her in the oh, first season. Yeah, because she was 13 and she was being raped. They fucked their own uncles. All right, look, we got to move Damn. on to the screenshots, guys. <laughs> this thing this thing got intense. Man, let's see how intense uh, the screenshots uh, get. How many how many minutes are we in so far? Um I don't know. Take a, take away 30 minutes. Um, and this is an hour and three. This is math, and I'm not good for math. Broly Fizz, thank you for the subscription. 50 Shades of Hermione is exactly what that shit should be called. Exactly what that shit should be called. All I, right. I like painstakingly made all these alerts, and there is an especially awesome one for subscribers. So just envision it in your head. No, I think it, I think it actually sh did it show up? Did the, did it show? I don't know. I was in the theme, but I heard it. Get ready for my sweetness. I don't know if something popped up. Is it on there? I heard it. It did. It you see? Did? It did. Oh, shit. I fixed it. You know why? Because there was a lot of stuff not checked off. Checked <laughs> off. Yeah. Because the theme, the alert box here, I had to check off. This is from the one I worked on, not the Twitch oh, alerts. Okay. I don't think the Twitch alerts went off. The alert box, though, went off, I believe. I just had to fuck the computer first. <laughs> That's exactly what I had to do. Now we're about to fuck these damn screenshots. Screenshot yes. I'm the king of segways. I'm telling you, they should get me in a show. Kick out fucking... I was going to say Bernie Mac. Rest in peace. I'm sorry. Kick out Steve Harvey and put me on the family feud. Gotta, right? That's the last thing I do? Just, you got to shave all this off and just have that big ass mustache. I'm already there. Look, I just got to... I'm already there. And then just look confused all the time when somebody says something stupid. Mm -hmm. And then have the biggest cheesy. Wait, wait. Let me let me try to make my let me try to make my Steve Harvey smile. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! I just shot the news wow, again. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, that just looked like I'm in pain, or I'm trying to be Shanae. <laughs> all right, you guys, you, listeners are not. You know, you're not seeing this unless you're on Spotify and you can actually look at this as well. Uh, D Extreme AI'd me. Uh, it's not gonna look one bit like you. Not hey, one bit. Are you saying I'm not cute? Because she's. I cute. didn't. I didn't look at it. All right. This this is you doing ASMR. This is the ASMR fucking thing. Look at it. You you kinky as hell, D Extreme. That's me. Hell yeah, that was me and the Fast and the Furious roller coaster ride. <laughs> <laughs> it says Bob Puerto Rican podcaster, and it's just me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yep, you that's me. Put that, put that on your name tag at work. That's me in the Matrix. Yes. It's me in the Matrix. That's you driving home when you have to poop. That's me driving a bus over the fucking uh, CTA. <laughs> And I have a t-shirt that says Nastranus. <laughs> Did that say anus? I think so. And this is me just fucking confused. All right. Back to the show, guys. Back to the show. Where are we at? All right. So first screenshot, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Dodson voiced most of the gremlins in both movies. Oh. He has passed away. There's no age right here. I'm sorry for that. But he has passed away. So Magwas are gone. Who is your favorite? Who is my favorite Magwa? Yeah. Besides the my boy fucking uh shit. What was his name? <laughs> Howie Mandel. Besides Howie Mandel, what was his name in the Gremlins? Uh... Gizmo, there it is. This show, why do I fucking lose all memory while doing do this damn? Too. I don't get it. I know Gizmo. Anyways, beside Gizmo, I guess my favorite uh, gremlin has to be. I don't know, man. Gremlins 2 had all the cool ones. Yeah. Fuck it, man. I'll go with the flasher one. That's just hilarious. That's all he does. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I like the bitch gremlin? Nah. 
I like um, the smart gremlin from the second one. Uh, now that's not civilized. Okay, I gotta say, remember the gremlin with the eyes and it was all googly? <laughs> he was dumb as shit. Yes. Swear to God, there was some chick at work that looked just like that. And I said, like, I was telling people, like, yo, don't she look like this gremlin? I'm fucking bogus. <laughs> I'm fucking bogus, man. You're going to hell. I am going to hell in the handbasket. <laughs> I'll make my way out because I'm so damn charming. Rest in peace, Mark Dodson. You were part of our childhood, and I hope uh, people will know your name. It looked like he was a big fucking... Either he's at a store that they just had pops, or he just collected the same fucking pop in the background. I think that's him at like a warehouse or something. It's gotta be him at a warehouse. There should be fucking gremlins back there. Oh, we're gonna go into a gremlin here. No, I'm just kidding. That was the best segue I could do. Um, <laughs> I do want to say like, um, you remember the the scene in Gremlins two where it, they act like they're behind the projector or on the the VHS version. And it was like they were inside your TV. Uh huh. If he has something to do with that, fuck him. <laughs> This the scene scared me so bad when I was a kid, and I screamed for my mom. I'm like, Mom, Mom, they're in the TV. And she comes running in the room. She's like, that's the movie. I would have I would have sold it. If I was the mother, I would have sold it. I would have went. I would have grabbed the TV, stay away from my child, and threw it out the window, and then been like, I, I saved you, honey. I guess we got no more TV, though. You can go to your room and go to bed. <laughs> And <laughs> if my my mom would probably do some shit like that, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that would have that would have solved the whole issue. Like she she watched too much TV. Yeah, you didn't watch the TV after that. I tell you what, <laughs> exactly. All right, you know, my mom, did you know Hulk Hogan got cut from the home release? I'm guessing because that's what she talked about right here. I don't remember the VHS thing. I only seen he's the movie the, theater. He's in the home release. Well, according to the one that I watched, like, okay, they're going at it. They're always going at it. Let me tell you something, brother. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan Major's exit, Kang the Conqueror's status in MCU has been unknown. A new report reveals the latest update on Kang's role. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, sorry, I was looking at the picture that... The extreme put in it says it's all these gremlins watching J4. That would be what? amazing. Where do you see that? The last like AI link he put, you see? Oh, that's hilarious. That's, that's amazing. Good. That's a good one. I'ma steal it. <laughs> I'ma steal all of it and give you no credit. Oh, yeah. I made it myself. Did you see the first one when there's like two or three of them? Four They're, of them flying through the air and shit. This is zero gravity. <laughs> this is them and this is gremlins in space. Which, if you think about it, why wasn't that made? You know, gremlins three. It's possible. If gremlins in space, how do you know when it's after midnight? Yeah, oh, that's true. Mm hmm. See, there's your whole there. there's your whole concept for fucking up because you don't know what time frame it is, and we fed them at the wrong time. So. Space time. <laughs> Space time. <laughs> Jonathan Majors exit. They still want to keep Kang. There's ha there has I I do know there has been a lot of word of uh, replacements, but nothing has been finalized yet. I That's heard all that I know. They, I heard they do have somebody, and he was like about to leak oh, it. Right. Who? I don't know. They just said the new Kane, the new actor that's playing Kane. Was gonna, he was gonna give it away online. And the uh, egg rolls. Sorry, she's ordering Chinese food right here. Oh, get me. Um, uh, Rachel some, wants. Uh, I want some lemon chicken. Lemon chicken, yes. And an egg roll. And I, egg, I'm getting the egg rolls are mine. <laughs> Nobody get egg rolls but me. Nah. Cat Williams as Kane. There you go. <laughs> now listen. Listen here, Iron Man. <laughs> Listen, player, player, player. 
Play it, play it, play it. Now, you yes. are way too brilliant to be playing this. <laughs> Pimpin'. Strawberry banana. Pimpin', you way too brilliant to be fucking around with these other superheroes. You should join me. I'm the... I'm the Kang Varen you don't want to fuck with. <laughs> I'm a I'm a pimp named Kang. <laughs> what is he? He always kept going. No, I'm five three, so I'm not a tall man. It was what's crazy is that for someone who talks like that and his freaking stand up, but he was serious as shit when he was on Joe Rogan. Do he was what? serious. He was so serious. Like, listen. I don't want to say this, blah, blah. Like, he was just serious. Uh, compared to the Club Shay Shay interview we had, when he was all, like, all over the place, he was he was, he was way more serious than the Joe Rogan one. I saw somebody recently, I don't remember who it was, some celebrity, and they were, they were talking about that interview, and they talked like they knew Cat William personally, and they're like, I knew the interview was going to be fucked up when I saw Brown Liquor. <laughs> Shay Shay started that shit. He was like, go ahead, go ahead, drink some of this. And get it ready. What's in the new chicken wraps? Is chicken? Joke? Chicken and lettuce and tomato, and there's one with buffalo sauce. Hell yeah, but I'll tell you what, in 2021, Tor Olson taught the first ever college history class on the Red Dead Redemption game, which provided the inspiration for this book, Red Dead's History. In an interview with IGN, Olsen delivers his verdict on Rockstar's Epic and reveal plans to take on GTA next. Really? Dude, that is the coolest shit ever. I would have, man, anybody would have signed up for that class. Imagine you're going through the fucking, <laughs> the courses and you're looking at what class should I, man, I need to get a fucking extra, extra three credits. The fuck is this? Red Dead Redemption history? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> And your syllabus is just, all right, class, tonight, play four hours of Red Dead Redemption. Remember to make your way down to old Mexico and find that uh, wolf. It's going to be in the lower bottom right. <laughs> I want half of this class to choose this path and this other class to choose this path. You would choose to kill that lady. Y'all would choose not to kill that lady. And this guy's like, according to how I sound, He's dressed southern as shit. Like Colonel Sanders, you know, like full out. Nah, 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 see here. <laughs> he looks like Tom Hanks in The Lady Killers. <laughs> that would be the best class ever. Like, imagine the test. Like, what is the best gun that you can equip yourself? Now, this book, Red Dead's History. Red Dead history yeah oh there's an audio book when isn't there so this expected on august 6 2024 so it hasn't came out oh. yet. oh i don't want it a video game an obsession and america and america's violent past a breathtaking new way to examine U.S. history through the lens of best-selling video game Red Dead Redemption and the Red Dead Redemption 2, set in 1911 and 1899, are the most played American history video games since the Oregon Trail. Fuck <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be all over that. I think let's, it's the audio book. Yeah, yeah, let's remember in August to be all over that shit. That's going to be cool. Oh, what's the emperor still doing here? <laughs> A controversial advertising campaign that stitched Chilean beer. I, I seen, you know, I, you I kept, I kept seeing it, but I didn't see the video. I haven't uh, watched it yet, but like, I just think it's hilarious. Let's see, let's see, Chilean, Chilean Star Wars. Chile. Chilean Star Wars ad from Chile, right here. We don't need sound for this shit. No, my father didn't fight in the war. They say, we all know that. No, my father didn't fight in the war. It was on. Oh, did, did you, did you, like, you know, since Dune 2 came out and it's become a fucking global phenomenon, motherfuckers are starting to be like, yo, Star Wars is just a ripoff of Dune. Did you hear about this? Isn't, is I didn't there, hear about it. Is there a screenshot about this already? 
I don't I didn't ever heard anything about that. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people saying like it's evident that George Lucas was highly inspired by Dune and the evidence is all the evidence I mean it's everywhere, but a majority of it is about Luke Skywalker being from Tatooine, being the mm-hmm. chosen one, and how he even said right here, you know, that my father fought in the spice wars and that's what Dune is about spice and they're fighting for the spice on Dune and, you know, and the force and, and the, and Dune, it has the voice, you know, it's, it's some, yeah, nice, and they some have the, the desert planet of Tatooine and they mine for spice there too. Yep. So anyways, you fought in the clone wars. Yes. I still love Star I Wars. I was Jedi Knight, the same as your that- father. Like, I wish I'd known him. He was a... The one that, the thing that most people say or agree upon is that uh, he got turned down to make either Buck Rogers or Flash Gordon or both. And he was like, well, fuck you, then I'm going to make my own. And made his own uh, universe. <laughs> yep. And it's still going on today. Did you see this? That was great. Obi Wan walks over to the fucking thing, <laughs> and instead of getting a lightsaber, he gets a fucking Chilean beer. <laughs> Chris, that's oh, motherfucker! Fucking awesome. That's like, that's like someone, someone made that at home <laughs> and put it on YouTube. That's the best commercial. It's like, oh man, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and we're going to get to play it at work, but they're going to cut in all these commercials and ruin it. <laughs> well, what can you do? Cut around that motherfucker. <laughs> this is 20 years old. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is 20 years old, guys. Someone had a VHS or something and was watching old Chilean TV and it's like, mira, que carajo? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how Chileans talk, so that's my guess, you know. I don't I don't do yeah. they speak Spanish? They speak Spanish, but they look white. It, every, everybody got their own kind of Spanish. Oh, remember that Willy Wonka shit I mentioned last week? I still didn't watch it. Like clips of the fuckery they created? I've just I just saw pictures of it and it looked like ratchet as fuck. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So this person, some people have been revealing themselves, you know, like the guy who played Willy Wonka, the Oompa Loompa chick, and now this one, which is the the unknown that appeared and was scaring kids. Um, so the Willy Wonka experiences instantly iconic original villain, the unknown, is already getting its own horror movie from Scotland-based production company Cal- Cal- Caledonia Pictures. <laughs> <coughs> Imagine the uh, the meetings about that movie in Scotland. Listen, now you dust cunt. <laughs> <laughs> We're here making a movie. You all saw that Willy Wonka thing that happened last week? Well, we're going to make a movie out of it. <laughs> <coughs> this is going to make us a lot of money. <laughs> You gotta call everybody a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you cunt. This is gonna happen. <laughs> Get me David Tennant. <laughs> I actually asked a friend of mine that lives in, that's Scottish in Scotland. And I was like, I got you here for a second. What does Das Cunt mean? <laughs> das Kunz. Do you see this picture? Kang the Conqueror as Cat I Williams? That. I need that. Now, now listen here, X-Men. <laughs> it looks like Method Man. <laughs> Man. Jesus. So this is very funny because it's just become this is just this is just becoming uh what's the phrase? A trend. This is becoming a trend where horror movies are just being made out of anything. So the moment that Steamboat Willie became, you know. Um, the day. The, the day, day. Of, They're like, it's already been made. We're going to mm-hmm. put it out next month. 
<laughs> Here's where I find it. <laughs> they were ready. They're like, oh, this is going to be public domain. We know what we're doing. They're just, and, and what started this? So the first thing I remember was the Winnie the Pooh one. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, because that's the first thing I remember where they're just taking these. But that wasn't like, that wasn't like, oh, we just now discovered Winnie the Pooh. Let's make a movie of it. That was no. something that was probably cooking for a while in some dude's head. Yeah. Because that's an old ass story. But this. Somebody watched this on the news or something was like, I'm going to make a movie about it. Hell yeah. Why not? <laughs> Just go with it. There's no rights I, to it. And you can literally make a horror movie about anything. Like, have you ever seen Tire? Yes. No. But I know of it. But that's based <laughs> off stories of a tire. Just fucking, you know. And then it, it like goes in, into other shit and. Then there was one that came out like last year, or this year, the uh, the haunted swimming pool movie. I don't know. You have to say the title of the movie. Something pool, right? Fucking ass fuck twins. Sorry. Yes, <laughs> that was random. Fucking Went ass to type twins. And I got a pop up and it fucked me up. Night Swim. That's what it's called. Night Swim. I remember Night the title. I heard of that movie. It's awful. Like, it's awful. Awful good or awful bad? Like, in a bad way. Like, stay away from this shit. So that means you gotta see it. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> And but, I'm going to text the whole time. This is fucking terrible. <laughs> but I can't seem to stop. <laughs> Who made this? They need all the awards. <laughs> but will you watch the sequel to There's Something About Mary? Fuck yes. Fucking A. I love that movie. It was just on the other day. They're going to have kids. What can they do this time? Because, you know, times are different. They're, you know they're going to do callbacks to shit, so they might do that come in the hair thing. That was pretty funny. The brother's still going to be uh on the spectrum? Oh, uh, Warren? Mm-hmm. Remember? Yeah. He was on the spectrum. You want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like he was looking at me like, I don't want to say it, but I know you'll say it. Oh, shit. Anyway. There you go. There you go. Broly said it. The sequel should be called There's Something in Mary. <gasps> Ooh. I like it. That's what we're going to watch. This also get, This is old movies getting a sequel. This is also getting a sequel. Freaky Friday with Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan. Now, I, I took the screenshot for the news because it's cool. I actually like the original. But it also took the picture because Jamie Lee Curtis looks hot. <laughs> Till this day. <laughs> Till this day. Till this day. Look at her. Nothing can, this girl cannot do wrong. I am down okay. for this. But make it a crossover where it's Freaky Friday and the movie Freaky. <laughs> Is that the one with the Judge Reinhold? No, no, no. What's that one? That one's called... Uh, Vice versa. Yeah, wouldn't they do a crossover like that where it's vice versa and and uh, Freaky Friday? That would be great. Yeah, but I was talking about the Freaky movie where it's the serial killer gets switched with the girl. Oh, that Freaky. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's better than vice versa. <laughs> no, that's it. I want anything with Judge Reinhold. It's a shit. You know, there's a movie Judge Right. I've seen a clip. Where Judge Reinhold was like an action star. All right. And I never seen this movie. I don't know where it's at. I don't know what it's I'd called. Watch it. But yes, like I was like seeing Judge Reinhold and he jumped over like a bar stool or something and was shooting. I was like, whoa, what's this? Where does Judge Reinhold get down like that? I need to see it. <laughs> I think some, you don't come back from something like that. Like something's. So awesome and just pure. 
mm-hmm. it's John to Reinhold in an action movie. Put him in the next John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> but he'd be all nice when he's doing the headshots. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, this this Freaky Friday, you got to go with the concept of the Friday movie. So the next one's got to be called <laughs> Next Freaky Friday. And then the Freaky Friday after next. <laughs> last know? Freaky Friday. Yeah, Last Freaky it, Friday. It's a sequel to Freaky Friday and uh, Friday 3. And then when you do the Friday crossover, I mean the Freaky crossover, you call it Freaky Friday the 13th. No, that one you got to have Jason in it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's the one we're working on. Freaky Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> I like it. Fuck these people who are like, oh, let's make let's make a movie about the unknown from the Wonka experience. Nah. Let's make a movie where it's Freaky Friday meets Friday the thirteenth. Can you imagine how much money we would make if Hollywood listened to our podcast and like took notes? I know, right? Like, <laughs> come on, people, we're fuck. We got, we got, we got ideas. Our shit slaps. Okay? Yep. <laughs> we we fucking make shit happen in the universe without even trying. We, we should. We, we talk about something, and then next week in the news, it's like this thing happened. It's just there, like when we said. Nobody's gonna want to see Madam Web, and then it did extremely badly. I think bad. I think we should make an apology. I should have. I should have been like, "Yo, Madam Web's gonna be like the greatest movie of all time," and then maybe you know things would have turned out differently. But is this our fault? <laughs> oh, shit. After the flop of Madam Web, don't expect to see Dakota Johnson another Spider Man movie anytime soon. She's done, dude. She, I, you know, I don't think she was right for the role anyway, even though I haven't seen it. She just, when you see her in interviews and stuff, like, her heart wasn't in it. She just liked that period, dog. This girl was in Fifty Shades, that's all. <laughs> that's all I know her from. I've seen her in something else, and I liked it, but I don't remember what it was. I don't know either. They had too many characters. I heard that those girls don't even dress up in their costumes until the very end. And it's not even them. It's just a vision that she sees at the end and quick cuts of them in their costumes. If you ruin that movie, can I ruin one for you? Did you care about Madam Web though? No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> was it three years, two, three years ago? I think we did a, a new story then. It was like Madam Web getting its own movie. <laughs> Whoopty shit. Yeah. Like, what? We're Spider Man. <laughs> Some characters like Craven. Like, no, nah, I did want to, I did want to ruin a story though. How do, how do, how do, you, what story you want to ruin? Saw X. Oh, but I like Saw. You can't should watch it first. Me. Yeah. Watch it first and then we'll ruin it. You can't ruin Saw. I like Saw. I don't know where I left off, but I like the song. The hatred for Matter Web is the same for Eddie Kingston. Give me my King Pain movie. That was all over the place. <laughs> that was like, I'm trying to like break that down into smaller words. <laughs> Sentry will get a movie. Well, I could, well, yeah, because you, you can make a movie out of that guy. Madam Web? Bro, have you seen like the hate for the new crow? On the on the internet, mm, no. I mean, everybody's judging by that one picture alone, but I'm sure there's a lot of hate out there. It, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Phantom Knight says so. Madam Web does machine gun chops that no one sells. That's a wrestling reference because <laughs> the extreme over here talking about a wrestler. Uh, 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 excuse me. Cochino. Um, what were we talking about? Madam Web. I oh, did like I heard it that uh Morbius did like three times better than Madam Web. Yeah, it's just there was there was a better kind of like <sighs> there was a that one that that was lucky is it I put it like this. The luck that Morbius had from people 
who cre- basically created the campaign for this movie because they're saying how bad it is and they're making fun of it actually helped it more yeah. than bash they, it. Um, they were getting all that publicity and then they, they had like hashtags for Morbius and stuff. I don't remember what it was. They even and, put that movie they, back in they theaters. Re- they re-put the movie out in theater. Yeah. So that movie had like that movie had a fan base just for the lulls and people like it for the lows. It's not a bad movie, actually. No, know? I like it, and I was yeah. hyped for it. I think if it was removed from Marvel, people would have been nicer about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I like Morbius. Uh, so if Mo- if Madam Web is that bad, then I'm going to stay away from it. I'll watch it at home, of course. I said that. I'll watch it at home. You know, I'm not going to fucking buy the rent. I'm not going to buy it. I'll watch it when it's streaming somewhere. Netflix, Paramount, Max, wherever the fuck they put this fucking movie at. I'll watch it there. Uh, the, the uh, Morbius got lucky through fans or, you know, the internet. And it was something special that it's something you can't duplicate all the time. And... And the best example of this were the Kings, these two movies, the Barbieheimer. Like that yeah. that was that was just a once in a lifetime kind of thing that no one saw and people made it such a big deal and it dominated. It made people go to the movies. Like Did we talk you, about that yet? That I I finally watched Barbie. You told me you told me in a text. We didn't talk about it here. I don't think we talked about it here. Okay. So I finally watched it. It came on HBO. I was going to stream it from Max, but it came on before I had a chance to. And I had a ball. I was laughing and shit and cheering. And at the end, I cried like a baby. Like I couldn't stop crying. I told you that movie, that movie shouldn't have worked. And it's a fucking masterpiece. It was like <laughs> none of that shit should have worked. If you think about you know, it, like none of like it should have like worked. HBO works like it. It'll the same movie will come on like twelve hours later. Uh huh. So I'm if it comes on again, like I I'm totally all about watching it again. Yeah, it's, it's not like that... a one and done. I'm like, no, I'm gonna watch that probably a lot. We've watched it plenty of times once we got it on uh once it was on Vudu. We got it, and we watched it plenty of times. It's just, it's just a feel good movie, and it's hilarious, and it's so fucking dumb that it's brilliant. And for me, like I said, Ken, Ken just Ken killed it. Ken killed the, everything, boy. He just and I don't know what he just fucking cracks me up. It's brilliant. What else is like that? Like what? There was another movie like that a few years ago. Um, Cruella de Vil, or is it just that was good. Cruella? It was called Cruella, yeah. That was fucking dope. Yeah, that was a real good movie. I watched that at my sister's house with my niece, and I was I was glued to the TV. I was like, this is amazing. Yeah, that was that was creative as shit. We were we were amazed by it. It was like, damn, I, um, um, my wife watched it several times. She really really loved that. Mm-hmm. When, when we, she they, comes. Go ahead. No, go ahead. When she comes in that one room and like does a thing and like her dress burns off and then there's another one underneath. Like I was like, that's the coolest shit. <laughs> yeah. Broly Fitz said it was meh. I guess. I mean, you know. It's it's gotta be to I don't know, if you're liking my wife is a big fan of like The Devil Was Prada. It was basically kind of like The Devil Was Prada. I thought I was, love that movie. I thought it was funny and very creative on the 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 take of Coella. Um, very flashy, think, very stylized, think, and shit like that. I think you had to be raised with that because the original 101 Dalmatians was what like from the 60s or 70s or something like that. Mm-hmm. So that meant. From before we were born, <laughs> and all through our lives, we've had these characters in our heads. And then it was like this cool, well, what if there was a prequel with Corella DeVille? What was she like? What happened to her? What made her like that? 
And that's what made that movie really cool. But Glenn Close still killed it in the live action movie. Preach. <laughs> <laughs> Meta, oh, this did happen. And this, I got a story for this. Meta suffered a I'll huge bet. outage earlier today with Facebook. Not today, but it was like Tuesday. Is it? It was Monday Tuesday because I got home Tuesday. early. It was Tuesday because I got home early. Huh? Probably, yeah. Okay. Okay. It was Tuesday because I remember I got out of work early. At the okay. end of my shift, my mom calls me up. All right? Mom calls me up. She's like, I can't get into, I thought it was Boost Mobile. Right? That's what I'm getting out of her. I thought she was saying it was Boost Mobile. I can't get into this. Help me out. I'm like, what are you trying what to is- get into? She, I thought she said Boost Mobile, but then she mentioned Facebook, and then I asked her again. What are you trying to get into? How did she say it? Like that, I don't remember. Like... It's all in Spanish. She's just loud. I'm at work. There's fucking <laughs> engines going off everywhere around me. So she agree- She tells me yes, that, but she also says Facebook. So whatever. I send her a password boost mobile because I kept record of it because I know shit like this happens. Then she tells me I can't get into it, blah, blah, blah. So my whole plan's changed. I'm fucking super tired. I wanted to go home and just nap in the afternoon you know yeah instead i right after work rush over to my mom go in there i grab her phone i (laughs) click log in on the facebook and it just logs into facebook and i'm like what the fuck was the purpose of this (laughs) (laughs) if i'm here i might as well eat something and then as i sat down waiting for food I go on my TikTok and that's when I get these videos like this massive outage through Meta, Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and all these other sites. And I was like, oh, <clears throat> there was a hack. I didn't want to tell my mom because then she'll fucking go berserk. Freak out. Yeah, because she was already thinking, they might think it hacked. And I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. But something did happen. Now, me personally, I didn't notice anything either. I was too busy at work. That's why. I didn't, you know, go on there or anything like that. But I checked and I was all good. So, yeah, apparently that was a big thing. That was my story. That's <coughs> what the fuck it. That thing right there, whoever. Okay, you want Rage to Dramas? Here you go. Whoever the fuck. First of all, Rage to Dramas got to Whoever the fuck made this out of Fuck you, buddy. Because you can hear on my back That's very important. Boy, I get up at 5 a.m. Fucking work. I'm tired of shit. I gotta deal with people I don't really deal with. And then I gotta deal with this one thing that's an email about everything. And I hope it doesn't show up on my Twitter. I need this motherfucker to be looking at me. Or my TikTok, can I say? And I don't need this bitch to be looking at me. So there's a machine to fucking one dude that you don't like to be there to fuck the fast fuck the Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. And all this shit. See how this led everything? The hat. Facebook. It's better. Fuck with my damn day. I eventually got to go home and go to sleep. But let me tell you. It was dangerous. Because I was knocking out on the drive home. You know how long it takes. Mom. Back over here. With the traffic. Those bitches. I wonder if they heard any of that because the music was too loud. Was it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, my God. Yup. Nobody heard anything. <laughs> Nobody heard anything. It's just going to make it even more rage task. I never. Oh, my God. I apologize. I apologize 100%. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I'll just mulligan. I'll do it again. Look. Fuck you guys. You got in the way of my nap. I work too damn early. I got to deal with stupid, cunty-ass, anal-ass people for a flight. And then I eventually got it, but it took too damn long to get home. And I almost fucking slept on the wheel. So fuck you, motherfuckers. Oh, my God. <coughs> I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize because that was the first time clearly I used it, so I didn't adjust the sounds. <coughs> no, I- on my side, I had stayed up 
<coughs> almost 24 hours by Monday. So after I had to go to a doctor's appointment and I came home and ate and then passed out. I woke up later that night, did some shit, and fell back asleep. So then I woke up like 8.30 a.m. Tuesday, wide awake, where I'm like, okay, well, I might as well get up and go make some tea and let the dogs out and that kind of thing. My Who let the dogs out? I'm sorry. You left it open. <laughs> I had to do it. All right, going back to your story. <laughs> so the first thing I always do, you know, when you wake up, you check your notifications see if you have any texts or messages and things like that right right right. and so out of like muscle memory i go into facebook and it tells me to sign in and i'm like first thought was i got hacked because i've been automatically it's like i never sign in what's going on (laughs) yeah so i signed back in it signs me in and immediately it gave me an error message but you could see Facebook like the, in the background, and it was all blank. <laughs> and I was Weird. like, they, they fucked up. Something's wrong with them. And uh, yeah, it was like that for a couple hours. So they got your information. What you saying? Oh, no, I didn't get hacked. It was the, the, the outage. I remember one time something did happen to my account and I had to go just make a whole new one and I started re-adding people Mm -hmm. and then that lasted for maybe a month or two. I don't remember. And then my other, my usual one, the one I got now worked again. So then I just had to get rid of the other one. It was a lot of frustration. I got hacked, like, in the height of my TikTok thing. Mm-hmm. I got hacked. My TikTok got hacked. I was fucking around with this this guy that was, like, a total, like, you know, hacker, uh, spammer person. Oh, I'm this, and I need your address and your phone number. And I'm like, and I fucked with him for, like, two or three hours, like, playing dumb and I don't know what that is and oh I'm so scared I can't reset my password and shit like that that at one point I gave him my phone number so I was like why what's he gonna do with that and it, I got an a email somebody logged into your TikTok and I was like oh shit so I changed the password and signed everybody out and fucking put two factor on it and all that stuff Get that about, bitch. Like, why you? Like, what do you got? <laughs> I'm just what I'm saying. Like, if you're a hacker, hack some real shit. You know, some important shit. Hack your I, planet? <laughs> I, I understand, like, Facebook, but if you're hacking Facebook, what's the purpose of it? Are you just for the lows, or are you trying to get information? This is all I know, that I know... My shit's out there because one, I get random fucking phone calls like all the damn time about I don't know what, and two, random fucking texts of bots. Hey, is this this is Alina? Is this Fred or whatever or Julie? And I'm like, no, it's not. So I mean, at first I'll play along. I'm like, yeah, yeah, blah blah, blah boom boom, and then I'll be saying something like, you remember me? Whatever. It's like, yeah, you're the one who had the shit stain on your pants. You know, I'll be saying something like that. <laughs> and they just keep going with the conversation, and that's how you know it's like, yeah, it's a fucking bot. Yeah, they're fake. The last time I was like, look, I don't know you. I don't know who you are. I don't care. I don't want to talk. <laughs> I don't want to nothing. Leave me alone. It's been a minute, but this is how I know because I've seen videos where it's like, has your have you been getting these strange? Oh, also the text where it's like, hey, your package is here. At, yeah. the, at the UPS place, but we don't know I get this the, all the time. Yeah, if we don't got the right address, I'm like, motherfucker, I didn't order anything that's gonna go through there. Yeah. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm disabled and I'm broke. Exactly. I didn't order a goddamn thing. It make me question sometimes too because I ordered something right? months ago. You know, I was waiting for this uh, Super Mario Brothers 4K uh, Trust the Fungus shit that finally arrived. I was waiting for that since last year, right? Shit. So every time I had this, it was like a pre-order, and they really like you know, long ass pre-order, and 
every time I got this, I was like, yo, what the fuck are they talking about? Is that my Trust the Fungus edition? But, no. <laughs> it was weird. Well, okay, this weird. was from a while ago, so I'm sorry I didn't read this earlier. This is from D Extreme in the chat. He says, did you see that one Jennifer Lopez movie where her son makes her a fake resume and social media page to get her hired at a fancy modeling company where she ends up making perfume from a sacred flower from her from her grandma? No. <laughs> like, that was random. Like, why you at? What? Why did you ask? If we saw that movie, where in the conversation was this back when we were talking Corella? How did I that even? I don't know. How did that even it look? Was, it was before you raged. It was before I raged? Well, guess what? I'm about to rage again because no, I did not see a fucking movie with Jennifer Lopez, especially with that kind of. If I see a movie with Jennifer Lopez, this bitch better be doing something fucking amazing, like killing people or some shit. I'm not gonna see a movie where. Jennifer Lopez, what what she do? She did fake resume and social media so she could sell flowers. What what is this? Lifetime movie? No. Of course I didn't waste my fucking hour and a half or two hours watching a stupid J Lo movie. I hate J Lo. Hate. But you know, I like that him I like that her and Ben Affleck are together and I hope she's making Ben Affleck happy. That's all I care about. If she makes Ben Affleck happy, then I'm happy. He's getting Dunkin' Donuts money. That's what makes that him happy. Dunkin', that commercial is the <laughs> shit, boy. <laughs> I'm like, yo, where can I get the track suit? <laughs> Do you remember the sounds that they made? The wind, the, the wind jacket? Yup. <laughs> Hell yeah. Your pants. <laughs> <laughs> She no oh, Hammer Venus did not mention the Devil. I mentioned the Devil's Wear Prada because my wife watches the and loves the Devil's Wear Prada. Thus, I've seen the Devil's Wear Prada. I did say I love that movie. Shut up! Look, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get to win. I'm always right. Uh, Broly Fizz calling me out saying like, if Rosie will watch a Lifetime movie, your ass is too. Yeah, I guess if I'm in the room, but I'll have like a switch in my hand or something, or I'll be on the phone, you know. And I'll just be like, damn, that's crazy. He did that. <laughs> <laughs> Warner Brothers Discovery is looking to follow in Netflix footsteps with Crackdown on Max password sharing. Everybody's going to password share. Good luck with that, guys. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Kick-Ass 2 director Jeff Wadlow opens up about the role Ryan Reynolds Deadpool would have played in his scrapped X-Force movie. Deadpool 2 is X-Force, though. This is like a sequel to that, I think. If it doesn't have home, what was his name? The one that was just a regular human? Like Jeff or something? <laughs> just... That was my guy. If it didn't have him, I wasn't going to give him two cents. I love that he goes back in time to fix the timelines and he fix it where that guy doesn't die. Yep. <laughs> that guy was a sweetheart. He should have never died. He had a shitload of spirit, okay? But isn't X-Force also with Wolverine? Or was that another? X-Force had Wolverine in it at one time. Yeah, right? Or was yeah. that just that good? Is the X-Force the Canadian group? Uh, I'm rewatching. Yes. I'm rewatching X-Men for, you know, before March 20th when the new one begins. So, yes. <laughs> I'm getting all like there's episodes I was like I don't even remember this episode that's crazy you know but yeah I'm in the I'm in the Phoenix saga now so oh nice <laughs> I'm getting to the juggernaut bitch part so. did you is that before or after Logan's backstory that is after okay it's crazy because Logan's backstory happens I think in the second season yeah. And then you get more of his backstory in that third season because the first two episodes before the Phoenix Saga starts, because every season is like a whole arc. Yeah. That's the Phoenix Saga season, which I think is the third season. It's just like, it starts off like that. First is where you meet Lady Deathstrike and then Lady Death. they give you the story of 
Logan and Lady Deathstrike, and then it leads to that spaceship, and then the monster coming out of the spaceship, leading to Xavier being all like, ah, and getting <laughs> images from the Shi'ar, and then thus sending them into the spaceship, which is where I did the X Men in space. And now, after that, that's when they're all like, something's coming, and then they ended off with like the Phoenix Saga coming soon, and you're like, oh shit. And that's when it was a five-part episode all week that my brother was like, hey, record this for me. And I'm like, I got you. <laughs> so that's you know the story. I don't remember any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not a damn thing. It's dope. It's dope. But this is even doper. This is where I say, ha ha, fuck y'all haters. Exactly. Avatar The Last Airbender is getting season two and three, and your boy is fucking happy that it's getting season two because that's all I wanted. You could end it after season two. I don't give a shit. It could not keep going. If you told me it gets season two, I'm like, yes. Now that it gets season two and three, I'm extremely happy. Happy. I want live action talk. Fuck all you guys. This show is not that bad. Y'all being critical about stupid shit, accept it for what it is. It's fucking a good adaptation oh it doesn't do this it doesn't do that oh it doesn't have this person like this motherfuckers let them cook season two and three is gonna happen and you can't do nothing about it at this point so kiss my ass i'm gonna see it i don't give a fuck broly kiss my ass kiss my ass i'm happy you don't gotta watch it go Mm -hmm. back and just watch the cartoon be happy with the fucking cartoon i don't give a shit this is all rage rage to damage i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck fuck y'all lick my anus bitch I'm watching the live action season two and three. Y'all can keep watching the fucking cartoon, which is fantastic, and I'll watch it too. But don't raid on my fucking parade, motherfuckers. I'm enjoying this. You think this is you think this is bad? Oh my god, this is bad. Motherfucker, we had M Night Shyamalongs, The Last Airbender. Okay? We had that. You guys wanna bitch about this one when that shit happened? Kiss my ass. There's like this whole thing nowadays about negativity and hatred and stuff because it gets more publicity and I mean, that's it. It's just like you look at the news and movies and TV shows, they it's all this and death and killing and stuff and then something comes along like this and y'all want to rag on it and drag it down and we're not going to fucking let you. It, it's just... I'm at the point I'm at the point <laughs> where if I see if I'm on TikTok and I see people talking negatively about this blocked. If I'm on <laughs> X and people are talking negative about something blocked. I don't want to see it. I don't need that shit in my fucking feed. I don't need the negativity. You guys go have your own fucking party over there and talk shit about stuff and be uh, you know like like god the thing that really bugs me look I had a conversation with my brother-in-law and he pointed out some things that he's like, look, it's, it's great. This is my, 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 you know, con- like my critique about it and what I don't like about blah, 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 but he likes it for what it is. It's not great, but he likes it. I can accept that. People yeah. are just like, this fucking sucks. They just killed it entirely. Like, no, motherfucker. It's not like that. It's whatever. And like that. I'm getting second season. about the the Cowboy Bebop live action and the original anime. I'm like, you're going to cut you out my whole life. <laughs> this is not that fucking bad. I'm getting more of this and I'm getting more One Piece. And I swear to God, if you motherfuckers made that One Piece not continue, mm. it would have been hell. <laughs> it would have been fucking hell. I want a, my live action Toph. I'll critique it then. Like other people, is it like extremely perfect? No. No. Is it extremely bad? No. Hell no. I see what they did. I see where they're going with. I see the changes it did. It doesn't bug me. The only thing that bugged me was maybe two or three things. Yeah. But nothing that made me fucking like you guys make it seem like it's how I react to the King of Fighter movie. Shut up, Scooby. I know you're going to say that's a fucking fantastic movie. I will fucking kill you. Next time we play Helldivers, I'll just keep going after you. 
It's the but that's the thing. Like I don't get it. How you fucking? Oh, Katara's not this fucking brave, strong, blah blah blah. Like bitch, let her cook. At the end of the shit, she was staying like that. Sokka's not a womanizer, but he's still fucking funny as shit. He had some things, but he was more of the loving brother as should be. Like there's different iteration. Oh, Angus not all happy or whatever. This motherfucker's been frozen for a hundred years. He woke up and found out. Oh shit, all this happened because of me. It's time to cook. Oh, he didn't learn water bending. That's okay. There's two other fucking seasons. Like, like at the end of this series, Katara finally like was starting to master her shit. Like, I don't even, man. You know what? Let's just keep moving on because it's just this is just gonna be race Domics the whole time. The Justice League movie director doesn't really understand why he's so this divisive among geek fans. Like I just said about the whole like basically hate campaigns. And they do that against anybody that's different. And Zack Snyder probably gets the most of it because he's non-conventional director and storyteller. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> if Luffy came out waffle stomping, that's not going to bug me. I'll be like, what the fuck is he waffle stomping? But if he, he waffle stomped <laughs> the shit out of Arlong, so that was dope. Zack Snyder, people don't appreciate it. Later on, they'll appreciate it. Zack Snyder do whatever. Though there was one comment where like Zack Snyder was like, you can't take Batman serious if he doesn't kill. And I'm like, okay, calm down. <laughs> Why? What? You, I, I mean, I, I do, but why did you just say that out of nowhere? Why did you just say that out of nowhere? Because she was thinking of kicking your ass out. You are a great wife. But why did you say that out of nowhere? Like, what if he lives? You put gas in my. Out? Oh, thank you. I was gonna do it tomorrow. Thank you. She put gas in my car. That's what's up. She is a freaking saint. I don't. I don't. I don't deserve her. So I, that's where I was going with that. Yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna drive off into the distance. You, you got to say, oh, I need to go get a pack of cigarettes and then never come back. <laughs> yes. And she's going to question it because, like, he doesn't even smoke. Okay. Exactly. This is really going to determine how realistic these are. First of all, they put the keyword exhibition, right? Yeah. Because usually they do that if they can't get, like, a full fight title, like, uh, from like the the boxing committee, mm -hmm. or if it's just something where they just wanna, instead of having the rules of an actual fight, they'll do it, the exhibition instead, and they can kind of, you know, take their time if they want, or if in Tyson's fight, knock him out in the first second. <laughs> Look, blip exhibition. I would think would be for char charity, but it's not. I know it. These motherfuckers are just making money, especially Jake Paul. Two, if this shit goes in favor of Jake Paul, I oh. call bullshit. Oh, hell no. Three, was it, it, wasn't it Logan Paul who faced Meriwether or was it this guy? It was Logan Paul, wasn't it? I get him mixed up. I think it was Logan Paul who faced Meriwether. That shit should have been Meriwether knocking his ass out. Yeah, like, without a doubt. But... He didn't, and then they gave it to Logan Paul. But come on, man, this shit is bullshit. Like, this is just fucking. This is just a. This is bullshit. Who was it that? Um, I think when he he was punching the dudes and uh, what was that movie? The the Hangover. Mm hmm. If I remember correctly, he actually hit one of them. Yeah, he did. Like in he real did. life, and it's... the guy got up, and he was like, that's why he won all those belts. It's fucking Mike Tyson. <clears throat> he he is a... I don't know if he's much of a heavyweight now, but he was a heavyweight champion of the world. Like He's a heavyweight. Times. You seen him? He's going to hit. I ain't going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with fucking <laughs> Mike Tyson. He came in to the best fight I worked at in West Hollywood one time. Mm -hmm. And everybody was just like, oh shit, that's, that's Mike Tyson. That's and Mike. like, no, nobody wanted to go talk to him. 
Hello, everybody. That's horrible, Mike Tyson. <laughs> what was that? Broly Fett said, no, Mayweather, Mayweather did knock him out. He just held him up. I don't remember that, but he should have knocked him out. Like, knock out. Like, this fight here with Jake Paul and, and Mike Tyson, that motherfucker just... This is where I say, bite his fucking ear off. I wanted, I want him to do one better. I want him to go, and they're, they're going at it, and they're, they're trying to square off, and then... Not, Tyson hits him and his eye pops out and the <laughs> whole audience goes just deaf silent. Yep. And everybody's just looking at his eye. <laughs> Dogs. Tyson is really nice. So I want him to be like kill mode and then once he knocks him out he's like, alright everybody, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I want him to be dressed up like Mike Tyson Mysteries, whatever, that show. Like that. Oh, with this the sweats on. With the, yes, I that's, love that shit. That's how I want him dressed. <laughs> Thank you, love. But yeah, if this this is whatever, and then Scooby says if he if Jake loses, it doesn't hurt his record. So I I no, if he loses, which he probably won't because this is all staged now. Boxing is not boxing like it was. What did Billy say? Uh, oh, keep in mind, I'm an. Out six five two eighty, and I fear him. Everybody should feel like Mike Tyson. You ever play Mike Tyson's, or did you ever beat Mike Tyson's punch out? No, but I'm sure Scooby does because he's like the greatest gamer of all time. This motherfucker he's beats Scooby. everything. He's fucking Scooby. He beats everything. Scooby's main job in video games is just fucking carrying me. <laughs> and sometimes being the wild card. Yeah. Yeah. And then having to suffer my decisions. And and coming into our houses yeah, and okay. eating candy bars and dropping them on the floor. Oh, right. GTA. The rapper. <laughs> Fucking GTA. Um, Batman vs. Superman, Donald Justin, director Zack Snyder has said making the Cape Crusader irrelevant if he can't kill you. See, I mentioned this earlier. Yeah. yeah. I think that's, that's a thing that's a little stretch right there. Like, Batman's not supposed to kill. But I get what he was doing in his yeah. fucking... I get what he was doing in his movies. I get it. I get where he's coming from with this. Because he, he sees Batman in that way. But that's what made him different. You know, like in the old days, like the 40s and 50s and stuff like that, yeah, he did kill. But then he was like, well, if I do that, I'm just as bad as them. So it was a it was a story arc. I could see if they, you know, like, if they continued the Snyderverse, and he came to that conclusion too. Like, you know, Michael Keaton Batman was killing motherfuckers left and right. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody be good, man. They just didn't realize it back then. You realize it now, but you didn't realize it back then. But you and I, real people, get. Zack Snyder's Batman and what he did oh, yeah. and his whole character development, you know, development. when meeting, yeah, yeah, when meeting Superman and and seeing the importance and 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 being inspired by the hope of Superman and becoming the Batman that he is supposed to be, it's all there. Motherfuckers are just dumb. Yeah, because again, they they want to hate or fear anything that they don't understand. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, you can't have Batman be a complex character. <laughs> nope. He's very complex. And you can't have motherfuckers from the Last Airbender be complex characters. Does it bug y'all that fucking Azula is not just all like, "Ah, I'm a fucking evil bitch," but actually has some fucking psychological problems and reasons mm -hmm. why she's fucking doing everything she do? Whatever, guys. That's <laughs> That's <laughs> That's the end of this all right. That was the last screenshot right there. I did like that with um the last Resident Evil, the Welcome to Raccoon City. Cuz they had Wesker like he was all nice and shit. It was like, yeah, cuz he hadn't turned into that bad guy yet. And then when he did, at the end you're like, "Oh shit, this is going to be cool if they ever make a sequel." But no, because the little hateful bigot bastards the can't stand anything that's different. I haven't seen that movie. I totally Shit forgot about it. that movie. It's slow. <laughs> I totally forgot about that movie. 
low. <laughs> I remember the <laughs> Netflix series more than I remember that movie. See, I never watched that. You don't have to. <laughs> I didn't yeah, even watch. Wow, the password sharing got fucked up. <laughs> That's true. But I didn't even watch that series. I just, from what I've seen, it was just like, what? This is not Red and Evil. See, now I'm being like the people. You are. <laughs> you know? It all comes around. It I'm being like the people. <laughs> but that's also what I heard. I mean, like, you know, all you gotta do is ask Danny Do ID because he's the fucking he's fan. But then that's not, that's not, you know what? That's not even good either because, you know, the people who are fans of the Avatar Last Airbender are being extremely harsh on it. Extremely. I understand you have a passion for it, but damn. Like, I understand, like, the Crow is like my favorite, right? I understand they're good. It's not going to be just like the comic. Of course not. It's a different time. It's a different age. People don't look like they did back then. But then there's like, hold up. <laughs> Maybe we went too far. I don't. Know. I'm still going to watch it. But I don't want to be one of those people either that hates it just because of what it looks like. All, all, all that matters is story yeah. and presentation. That's all that matters. I'm not looking for an exact copy of Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee is Brandon Lee. I'm not looking for that copy. I'm not. I just want a good crow movie with a nice story that makes me feel some really yeah. great action, some symbolism, some like, um, you know, depth. Just mm -hmm. something really nice. I'm not asking for long hair, same design, trench mm -hmm. coat. I'm not asking for all that. It's about honoring, delivery, and presentation. Yes. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Machine Room Podcast. I'm Nastradamus. She's Hammer of Venus. And yeah, so you basically want the King of Fighters movie, Naz. I knew it was your favorite movie. I want a really good fucking King of Fighters movie. That's what I want. And I wanted a really good Spider Man 3. Good night, everybody. <laughs>